In today's video, I will teach you how to add a custom watermark in Photopea. Let's get started. First, go to Photopea and open the image that you want to add a watermark to by selecting File and Open. Now we're going to create or import the watermark. If your watermark is text-based, for example, your name or brand, select the Type tool from the toolbar on the left side, or simply press T on your keyboard, then click on the image and type your watermark text. Now adjust the font, size, color, and style using the top menu bar to match your branding. And if you have a logo or graphic watermark, simply go to File, then Open, then select your watermark file. PNG with transparency works best. Once opened, copy and paste it into your main image file by selecting Edit, then Copy. Then switch to your main image, then select Edit, then Paste. Now we're going to position the watermark. Use the Move tool or simply press V on your keyboard to drag your watermark to the desired position on the image. Common placements include the bottom right corner or centered across the image. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard for fine adjustments. Now we're going to adjust the watermark's opacity. In the Layers panel on the right, select the watermark layer. Reduce the opacity slider to make the watermark more subtle. A typical opacity setting is between 20% and 50% depending on how visible you want the watermark to be. An optional step is adding blending effects. To do this, right-click on the watermark layer in the Layers panel and select Blending Options. You can add effects like Drop Shadow, Bevel and Emboss, or Outer Glow to make your watermark stand out or blend it more naturally with the image. An optional step is merging the layers. If you want to make the watermark permanent, you can merge the watermark layer with the image layer. To do this, select the watermark layer, right-click, then choose Merge Down. Alternatively, you can select all layers, then go to Layer, then Merge Layers. And take note that once merged, the watermark cannot be easily edited. And once you're satisfied, you can save your project by selecting File, then save as PSD to retain the layers for future editing. And to export the image with the watermark, go to File, then Export As, then choose your preferred file format, for example, JPEG or PNG, then click Save. And now you have successfully added a custom watermark to your image in PhotoP. This method ensures your content is protected while maintaining a professional appearance. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.